one. What's up, guys? My name is Amir Johnson, playing keys for Big Sean. I want to show you guys my rig. So let's start here with the Moog. So I'm doing a lot of key bass sign stuff. Most of the time, 808, so I'm just covering up, trying to make it beefier. That's all I'm trying to do. So usually it starts super simple. Just mess with the filters, throw around, find the right frequencies and stuff like that, drop it low. Based on the songs, throw the glides on. When it gets big, bring the filters up sometimes. Mess with this. So usually I try to stick on one patch and then throughout the show, just kind of work my way through the waveforms. And then, you know, that's how it goes. Um, try to do a lot of distorted guitars. I know it's not real, but we, you know, we're trying to make it work. I'm the only guy here, just me, DJ, and drums. So trying to cover as much as we can until we, you know, we're starting small, trying to build up and everything. So we have that distorted guitars, pads, the Roland Jupiter 80. Um, we also have a Kronos over here. So I'm doing all pianos, roads, pads, and I'm growing every day. So it's getting bigger and bigger. Uh, let's see, I got some roads going up right here. So it's my favorite keyboard, Roland Phantom G7. So this is kind of where everything is. So I make everything really fast on this thing, Roland G7, everything. Bells, strings, choirs, pianos, roads, synths, everything. Samples, you can trigger everything. Um, this is the Juno, just brought this, my new baby. Um, not on right now, I'm not using it, I'm not gonna lie. But right now we were doing Talkbox. We have the Banshee down there. Unfortunately for the TV show we're gonna do, they cut the song. So right now it's just up here. But I will be using it soon. So that's what it is. And at first, um, one of the problems was it was going my, it was a uh, polyphonic. And I was like, what's going on? What's going on? So I was just looking. So this button right here goes from you hit these two together, it makes it mono, and it made the talk box tone like super, super clean. So I was trying to figure that out. So that's something I stumbled upon the last couple of days in rehearsal. Um, and that's basically it, you know, still growing, I'm 22, so we're going to still, you know, the rig's getting bigger and bigger. And um, I'm going to be incorporating like MIDI and Ableton and all that, so that's coming next. What are the challenges of being the only melodic instrument on stage, covering um, the bass, covering the guitar, covering the keys, doing it all? Well, usually, like, if you ever went to, like, live shows, you, you hear the fullness and everything, you know? And if it's not in the track, if we don't do the pre-production of, like, adding extra sound, sometimes it could be very difficult to make sure it's full because not only am I doing the bass, I'm doing the piano. Not only am I doing the piano, I need to do the synths and the melody lines. So when, you know, like, you hear a change, like, -na 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 -na. <laughs> no chords, you know? Yeah. Because I got to do two things. So I'm usually either like this, like this, or like this, you know, so just Mul having an extra hand. I wish I had one right here, so I could just, you know. <laughs> the ultimate in multitasking. Yeah, but you know, I'm trying to just cover it, but usually for these songs, for hip hop, it's like very like, you know, it's all about energy. It's all about like, you know, keeping the crowd going. So I make sure I like, I go hard on the, the key bass. That's my default. Yeah. So if you see anything, I'm going to be going hard on this, you know, so that's usually what it is. It's one of the problems. Uh, that's pretty much it though. Cool, so you got everything pretty much, the Phantom's your main axe, Fame. which is great. Yes. And then the Kronos. Pianos, Rhodes. And that's got, the Kronos has more of the weighted feel in yeah, the Phantom. Yeah, the tone is a little cleaner and it's kind of closer to the real thing. Let's go through a few of the pianos. Um, I really love these pianos. And it's something um, I'm still growing and reading on. But man, like compared to like, I love Roland so much compared to, you know, these two, piano difference. Like we can even try, you know, try a few. So like 
getting it to sound a little bit more warm to me. Yeah. I know you can go through and tweak little things, but naturally, if I'm just like, a lot of these shows are just like fly in, you know, we're trying to get to Jay-Z level, you know, that's the goal. <laughs> but like a lot of these things, we'll get off the plane and we'll, well, we like all new keyboards. Like none of these are like, you know, consistent. So yeah. I got to get on, we got 20 minutes to, you know, set up the stuff. So I'm like, <laughs> Then sound check for five minutes. You so know? you can save all the patches you want on your own gear, yeah. but when you're using rental gear, you got to be on the fly. Gotta be, and I got to make very general sounds. So key bass, you know, I really like to be really technical if I have the time, but yeah. it's something that you really can't focus on because sometimes they don't tell you, but sometimes these go out of tune, and sometimes the, you know it's kind of analog. So yeah, so you're not guaranteed. Sometimes I have to like nix it. And sometimes I replace it with like a MS twenty or MS two thousand. Oh sure. Um, the cord and that still is kind of shaky sometimes. It's not consistent. Um, this has cool key bass sounds, but it's just a you know a warmer, fatter tone. Sure. Tone that covers more. You know. Yeah. yeah. That's basically that. Uh, so you got coming up. You got you're gonna be on Jimmy Kimmel. Jimmy Kimmel. You guys, guys are playing the Forum with Neo. Forum Neo John Legend uh, Valentine's Day Crush on the 13th. That's gonna be awesome. We actually have something Saturday for Rock Nation. Um, special guests, uh, I think it's like Drake and Travis Scott, new hip hop guys killing it. Beautiful. Um, and we're starting. We're gonna go on tour soon, so I'm excited to show you guys that. So you gonna be worldwide or just across World, the states? Worldwide. Worldwide. It's coming big, man. So this All is right. the first time actually we're using the clicks and the slates and everything. Um, usually, for the past year, I've been playing with them. It's DJ, and we just cover, cover on top of that. And sometimes that's very difficult because you're dealing with like, sometimes hip hop guys, the songs aren't um, wave files. You don't get the wave. Sometimes you get the MP3 bounce, and like you don't get the session. So sometimes they're in the basement grinding it out, young, and you know they, they don't think about the, tech, the technical stuff. So. We gotta just like make it happen. Sometimes it's volume changes, like one song will be here, another song will be here. So making quick adjustments is like really important. So what, since uh, the beginning of this gig, what's been your biggest adjustment in terms of how you handle um, all of this kind of random, you know, changes that um, could come at you? Stay positive and stay, keep my energy up, especially for live, just, just, just go hard. Just make <laughs> sure I'm like, uh, uh, because it's like we have this hip hop, so hip hop is, you know, it's not like acoustic. Acoustic, you know, I do acoustic too, but for yeah. this type of show, I make sure I bring the most energy out and I try to match the artist because he's up there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we got a special guest. Yeah. Uh, did I want oh, it? No, come here, come here. This is Man Man. One of the biggest, keep, one of my biggest influences, really. I'm not no, all right. Lie. Most of this rolling is because of him. I promise you. <laughs> so, yeah, keyboard extraordinaire killing. So, okay, so who you play with? Uh, John Legend and a couple people. Right on. Well, pleasure to have you. Yeah, man. Really look up to this dude. Serious, awesome. Pretty serious. Oh, well, well, what? I knew y'all was next door, right? Oh, you over here? Yeah, we, we over here. No, Hold on, let's listen, to, let's listen to the song real quick. Well, thank you so much. Yeah. And I'm going to just go around the outside here because it's such a nice looking rig. Oh, yeah, thanks. Right I actually on. have a song on the album coming out, guys. Please, 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 please buy it. Please, please. 99 cent, I think. What's the name of the song? One Man Can Change the World featuring Kanye West and John Legend. Let me give you a One Man Can Change the World. All right. Give you a little preview real quick. Uh, Gotta love that Juno 106, huh? This is just a little gear porn. Hey, Beats. For y'all. Beats. Let me see. Stay All tuned, right. guys. Give me one second. <laughs> 